YouTube! Welcome to my first ever DaVinci Resolve Fairlight tutorial. In this series, I hope to teach you guys a bit about audio in the Fairlight section of DaVinci Resolve. Now in today's episode, I'm going to talk about a question that I get a lot. How to export a video file with 5.1 audio in Resolve. So let's get right down to it. Typically, you would have received your 5.1 audio files from your sound mixer in six separated mono files named with the corresponding speaker channel. Now I'm going to show you how you can combine these audio files with your video in Resolve. Open up a new session in Resolve and import your audio files and video files into the session. Create a new timeline and drag your video file onto the timeline. In this case, my video comes with a scratch audio track which I have no use for, so I'm going to delete it. Click on Add Tracks and add 6 channels of mono tracks. You're going to need to change the stereo bus of your main one output into a 5.1 bus. And to do this, you go into the Fairlight menu tab, click on Bus Format and change main, main one from stereo to 5.1. If you scroll down a bit more, you see that there is a 5.1 film format as well. The difference between the 5.1 format and the 5.1 film format is in the track layout. The layout for the 5.1 format is left, right, center, LFE, left surround, and right surround. The layout for the 5.1 film format is left, center, right, left surround, right surround, and LFE. Make sure you keep a consistent track format layout throughout your whole session or you're gonna have the wrong sounds coming out from the wrong speakers. Start dragging the audio tracks onto the timeline in the order of your 5.1 layout. In my case, it was 5.1, so the first channel is left. Sixth channel is the right surround. Next, I'm going to link the tracks from 1 to 6 together so that Resolve knows that they are a group 5.1 track. To link the tracks, go to the Fairlight tab of Resolve. Go to the Fairlight menu and click on Link Group. Select the first track and the last track, and on the bottom right, you can see Link S, select 5.1. Lastly, to export the files, go to the Deliver page. Select the appropriate video and audio settings, but take note that not all video containers are able to wrap six channels of audio. In my case, I'm going to go for the QuickTime format with the H.264 codec. Under the Audio tab, make sure that you do not check Render one track per channel because that will split your surround channels into individual mono files again. Go on and add it to the Render queue and Render. And that's it, you're done! And I'm going to open my files in Media Info and you can see here that it says 6 channels of audio. That's when I know that I've done it correctly. If you have a surround sound system, you can go ahead and play it and you'll be able to enjoy the video in its full surround sound glory. That's all I have for this tutorial. If you want to learn more about Fairlight in Resolve, please like my videos and subscribe to my channel for more content in the future. Be sure to also check out some of my drone works on my YouTube channel too. Thank you very much, goodbye and have a nice day. Bye! -bye.